Hi guys, it's Miss Stacy. So you know that recently we've been talking about colors and learning about all different kinds of colors. So I have a cool little experiment to do today that's going to show us how some colors move around and mix. And it's also going to work on using our fingers and our hands in different ways. So you only need a few things if you want to try it at home. You need some milk. You need some dish soap. You need some Q-tips or cotton swabs. And then you need some food coloring. So if you don't have those things and you just want to watch it, it's okay too. But if you want to try it yourself, those are the things that you need. So I'm going to use kind of a big container so you guys can see it. But you can use a smaller container if you do it yourself so you just use a little bit of milk. All right. So first we're going to take the milk and you can use your hands to open the milk. So one hand to hold it and one hand on the top to turn it around. And maybe you can do it yourself or maybe you need somebody to help you put your hand on and turn it. But you're going to try to use both hands together. And then you're gonna use one hand so it doesn't fall over and you're gonna pour it in. So whatever kind of container that you're using, you wanna at least cover the bottom. So this is using a lot of milk. If I was just gonna do this for myself, I think I would use a small bowl so I wouldn't use so much milk. All right, so we have our milk in there. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put some food coloring all around. So you can make choices so maybe you have red or green first, and you can decide which one you want. You can point at the one you want, or you could look at the one you want. So maybe I'm looking here. So that means I want to use green first. So I'm going to use one hand to hold it and one hand to pull the cover off. Food coloring is kind of hard to squeeze gently. So it's okay if somebody has to help you with that part, all right? So we're going to hold it like this, and we're going to go squeeze with my thumb and my finger. I'm going to squeeze some drops of green all around just in all different places all right so we have a bunch of green all different places and i'm gonna make sure that i use my two hands and i put the cover uh oh did you see what happened my cover fell in the milk that's not what we want to do all right so we're gonna wipe the cover off sometimes things happen all right so now i'm gonna put the cover back on and now i'm gonna make another choice do i want yellow or blue let's see I'm gonna pick blue next. I'm gonna make sure my cover doesn't fall in this time. All right, and I'm gonna go squeeze, 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 squeeze. Food coloring comes out fast, so if you squeeze it too hard, you'll just end up with your whole milk color. We don't want that. So we have some green, we have some blue. Which one do we want next? Do we want yellow or do we want red? All right, I'm looking at red, so we'll do some red next. We'll put some red around there, some drops of red. Oop, our red's almost empty. We've been using a lot of food coloring lately. All right, so that, our last one that we didn't do yet is yellow. So we'll do yellow too, just so we have all our colors. You don't have to use all the colors, but I just think it'll make it look cooler. So I'm using my two fingers and I'm squeezing squeezing all right see how pretty that looks it has colors all over so the next thing that we need to do is we need to put some dish soap into a little cup all right so we're gonna take our dish soap we're gonna hold it and we're gonna turn it all the way upside down and then we're gonna squeeze just a little bit it doesn't matter what kind of dish soap you have any kind works all right and so for the next part, we're gonna use these, I call them Q-tips, or they're called cotton swabs. So if you can, you wanna hold it like this, with your thumb and your finger, because that's gonna hold it up and down like that. Or if you can't do that, but you can hold it like this, between your thumb and the rest of your hand, that's okay too. If you can't do that, you could stick the cotton swab into something else to hold it. So I just found a few things I had in my house. Like this was a sponge I had, so I just stuck the end into the sponge, and you could hold it like this, so then it's still going up and down, but you can hold the whole sponge. And then I tried it with one of these little bath loofahs, right? So I stuck the Q-tip up in there. You see it? This one's a little harder. And I'm holding this whole thing in my hand, but just the bottom of the Q-tip is sticking down. All right? Sometimes I use hair rollers too, but I didn't have any hair rollers at home, so I couldn't try that. So you can try this any way you want. But what you're going to do is you're going to take your Q-tip, your cotton swab, you're gonna dip it into the dish soap so it stays there for a minute. All right, get ready, because this is the fun part. 
And then we're gonna take it and we're gonna stick it right in the middle. Can you see what's happening? All those colors are spreading out and swirling around. I'm gonna see if I can move the camera so you can see it a little better. You might not see me as well, but hopefully you can see how all those colors are moving. What do you think about that? They're still going. They're still swirling out from the middle. They're still moving. It just keeps going and going and going. It's still going. I'm still holding it there. Ooh, every time I move it, it goes more. They're going all up from the middle and you can see all those colors mixing. So the green and the yellow and the blue that we put in all different dots, now they're going out from the middle. I'm moving my Q-tip and it's still going. The colors are still coming. It's going and going and going. All right, I wanna try putting a Q-tip in a different place even though it's still going. So we're gonna get rid of this one. I'm gonna try the one that's on my sponge, all right? So you can see how you do it. So I'm gonna hold it in my hand like this. I'm gonna stick it in the soap. And I'm gonna stick it somewhere else that has a lot of color. So maybe over here on this side. I'm gonna stick it down there. Let's see. Oop, yep, it's still pushing those colors out from the middle. Do you see how these colors in the middle are moving again? Very cool. Try it over here. So instead of our separate little dots of blue and yellow and red and green, all of the colors are mixing together and they're swirling all around. Whoa, I moved it. Whoa. I don't know if it looks as cool in the video, but it looks really cool in person. I definitely need to try this one. All right, we're gonna try one more con swab. Let's see where we should stick this one. Should we try the one with the, the bath loofah? This one's a little harder to hold. Hair rollers would definitely be better, but it works. So we'll stick it in there. There we go. And then we're gonna stick it somewhere that has a lot of color still. Over here maybe, oh, it's still working. It's still coming out from the middle. Boop. Boop. So it looks like our colors are almost done mixing. All right, so. What I learned when I was reading about this yesterday is why it works. And it works because the milk is made up of different things. It's made up of little molecules of fat and protein and minerals. But the fat, when you put the soap in there, the molecules of the soap are kind of chasing the molecules of the fat around, trying to attach to them. So that's what you're seeing, the swirling around when the soap is moving around, trying to get the fat. Um, when I first tried it with the milk I had at home, I had skim milk, which doesn't have as much fat in it, and it only worked one time, because it worked once and then there weren't any fat molecules left. So see how this is still going? Even when I'm not touching it, it's still swirling around in different places when the soap is finding the fat. But let's see what happens. I'm gonna show you just quickly what happens when we try it with skim milk. So let's move this over. Do you think I can move this without making a mess? Hopefully, all right. Got that. So we're gonna do just a little bit of this. This is the kind of bowl I would use when I was trying it myself. So we'll put just a little bit of milk in there, okay? Then I wanna make sure that I move the camera so you guys can see it. So you don't really have to see me, you know what I look like. All right, so here's the milk. We're gonna do the same thing where we put in some different colors. So we'll do just a few drops of green, and we'll do a few drops of blue. We didn't have any more red right now, but we'll do a few drops of yellow, okay? And we'll stick our cotton swab into our sponge again. So I just found a little hole in there and I stuck it through the end so it wasn't moving, all right? So then if it's hard for you to use your two fingers and hold it like this, you can just hold the whole sponge, okay? So we're gonna dip our cotton swab into our dish soap and we're gonna put it down. So it's pretty cool right now. See all the colors are moving just like they did before, but then they stopped moving. Remember before the colors kept going and moving when I moved it up and down? So 
So there's a little bit now, but then they kind of stop because skim milk doesn't have as much fat in it, so there's not as many of those fat molecules for the soap to attach to. Still is cool. Still definitely worth trying if that's what you have at home. I bet like 1% or 2% milk, it would kind of be like in the middle. So not as much as the whole milk that I was using the first time, but more than the skim milk. All right. So let's see if you can see me again. Hi. So that was pretty simple, right? But it showed us some really cool ways to use different colors. So we made choices of different colors to use, and then we put our different colors in little dots, and then we saw the colors mix all around, right? And we used both of our hands to pour the milk, to put the cover back on, to use the food coloring. We used our hands and our fingers to hold the cotton swab, and we found some different ways to hold them. You don't have to use a sponge. You can use anything in your house that you can stick this into. So anything that you can find. So that was just a cool little experiment. And maybe you'll try it at home. But if not, I hope that you like the video. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.